So you've got yourself a new CPU, but now your motherboard requires a new BIOS update for it to work, and you don't have one of those fancy boards that have the Q flash button on them. So in this video, I'll show you what to do, but before I do, if you are new to the channel and you find this interesting or helpful, then uh, maybe consider leaving a like and subbing to the channel as it would greatly help me out. So what we're going to do is we are going to first, we're going to need to find out what motherboard that we have. So if you don't know what your motherboard's called, this is a good way to find out. So all we need to do is turn on our PC and as we're turning it on, we just need to keep pressing the delete key. Now. It's not the delete key on every single motherboard, but um, it will usually be F2 or F10 or F12. Um, when you turn on your PC at the bottom, you'll usually find like a little menu that shows you what button you need to press to get into the BIOS. But once you're in the BIOS, um, it will usually tell you what your motherboard is somewhere in the top corner. So for example, on this one, we have the, I know it's an MSI motherboard, but it is the Pro H610M BDDR4 motherboard and then it has the BIOS version that we have at the moment. So in this PC, I have a 12th gen Intel Core i3 12100F. And what I'm looking to do is stay on the same chipset, obviously, which is the LGA uh, 1700. For the new CPU that I'm gonna be putting in this, I'm gonna be pulling in the Core i5 13400F. And so we've gone up a generation and this motherboard does support that generation, but the BIOS doesn't, so it wouldn't work if I put a CPU in straight away. So now that we've found out what um, our motherboard is, all we're gonna do is launch into the actual Windows. So now that we're in Windows, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go on the internet, so we're gonna go to Google. And then since I've already searched it up, it's here for me. So you type in the exact model of your motherboard which will then bring you to the manufacturer's website of your motherboard. And then you just click on the BIOS section of their website. So for example, on the link that I click, it took me straight to it and it double checks that it is the right motherboard. So just double check. So the Pro H610MB DDR4, that's the same one I've got. And then all you wanna do is download the latest uh, BIOS that they have. So I'm just gonna download this one. Now that we downloaded that BIOS file, all we're going to do is we're gonna go into our downloads. So if we hit our downloads here, we can see that it's a compressed zip file here. So all we do is right click and click on extract all, and then click extract. And then here you'll have the extracted folder. So what you wanna do now is you wanna get a USB stick. You plug that into your PC, and then it will recognize it will come up. And then all you have to do is, we don't need the whole folder, so we can just click on it. If it lets me in, there we go. And then all we have to do, show more, send to the USB drive. Right then, so once you've dragged it over to the USB drive or you've sent it to it like I did just there, um, that's basically all we have to do for now. So what we do now is we close that down and then you wanna just restart your computer and then you just wanna keep spamming that button that gets you into your BIOS screen. And there we go, now we're back into our BIOS screen and uh, every BIOS will have um, an easy mode or an advanced mode but usually just in the easy mode, you'll have an option that has M flash or USB to um, flash by or something like that. So all you do is click on that. Say so yes, you wanna to go to it. The PC will do a short little reboot, so don't worry if your PC just suddenly turns off. And then usually it will come up here with your USB flash drive, so it will detect it straight away. So you click on that. And then here we have that file that we moved into the USB drive. So all we have to do is click on that and then are you sure you wanna select this file? Click yes. And then this is an important one. Do not let your PC turn off when you are updating a BIOS. If you if it turns off while you're updating the BIOS, then you're basically, you're screwed pretty much. Unless you have one of the newer motherboards that has like a dual BIOS. But if this turns off or it corrupts during the BIOS update, it's basically game over. The motherboard will be bricked. So that's why you only update the BIOS if you are upgrading the CPU or if you need it for a specific, let's say, uh, RAM compatibility that they sometimes add. You don't wanna just keep updating the BIOS every time there's a new BIOS update available. So once this is done, the PC will work. 
um, with the new chip in. So all you do is you, for example, I'll just take out the i3-12100F, I'll pop in the i5-13400F, and uh, yeah, it should work fine. So then if you wanna see this PC working with the new CPU installed, stick around, subscribe to the channel, and uh, keep a lookout for the next video. That's gonna be all for me, bye.